Hello and welcome to another video from Miniature Tanks Company. In this video, we will be assembling the light armored reconnaissance vehicle. Um, I believe in German it is pronounced Lichter Panzer Spachwagen. Probably I pronounced that wrong, but it's a uh, uh, Miniature Tanks Company will have two of them the SDK FZ222 and 260 and this is the assembly for those so as you can see I'm clipping away the sprues and sport plastics um, so for this sport plastic you want to clip away like I'm doing and careful to clip away thoroughly these little parts or sand it down as well this is the area where the turret will traverse so it needs to be cleared away all that plastic. I would like to mention these are available at miniaturetanks.com and they're cheaper there than on Etsy or eBay. Now I'm putting glue down. I'm using this Gorilla Glue. Just open it so it's coming out strong. Very bad. But uh, typically I don't use Gorilla Glue but I'm just using it up. So it's simple enough, this kit, you just put these two pieces together. All right, so once you have put those two pieces together, you can start to clip away the sprues and the support plastic under the gun and stuff. This is the clipping away plastic for the turret. Yep, just clipping away. Uh, careful, especially on the smaller scales, just be very careful in this process. Clip away very carefully. And, uh, yeah, you can sand it down as well. The underside to get rid of that support plastic marks. I th something that I would like to mention too with these kits, uh, the two halves of the body of the armored car. Uh, you can, uh, the seam, the line that's they're glued together, you can take some putty, put it in, in that seam or that line, and uh, sand it down, and you can get rid of that line there. For the purposes of this video, I'm not going to do that, because I need to show in the picture on the listing what it actually looks like. But for when you post-process it, paint it up and stuff, you can make that better. Now I'm putting some glue under the turret here. Obviously this Gorilla Glue is coming out very strong. Uh, when you first open Gorilla Glue it just comes out strong. Uh, it's not very much of a modeling glue I guess. Just make sure this, this little cylinder is going directly into the middle of this turret. And the best way for it to dry, the glue to dry, unless you have a quick setting glue, that doesn't doesn't matter, but for it to dry is to set it down like I did. That way the cylinder and turret don't move when it's drying. Uh, or slide offset a little. And now you see here I'm clipping away the sprues on the wheels. Uh, so it's very straightforward from here. Uh, after you clip away all those sprues, um, the only things we have left to do is glue on the wheels. So my suggestion obviously for you is to put the wheels in the center of those those axle pieces there. Just putting some glue there. And try to just make sure that it's centered these wheels. Uh, so yeah, it can take some figuring out, but just try to um, make sure that the wheels are centered, gluing on evenly, and the best way is to have these wheels touch the ground, and just make sure that all the wheels are touching the ground for the vehicle, unless of course you're trying to make a scene where some suspension is happening and 
it's on the side of a hill or something so you intentionally move the wheel the tire up a bit or something uh, for that scene but typically for like a war game or something you'll want to have all those wheels perfectly even now I'm taking an exacto knife to these marks here these uh, plastic pieces on the inside of this area where the turret will go uh, be very careful if you do this. You could take some sanding equipment, sand it down. Uh, but if you choose the exacto knife method, do that very carefully. All right. So the last steps. Um, I would also like to mention that on miniaturetanks.com you can find this and many other listings if you purchase it there already. Thank you but also you can buy things in bulk if you buy two you get it for cheaper than if you were to buy one and it goes up from there alrighty so almost done alright so that is the the German light armored reconnaissance vehicle and that is the S, uh, SDK FZ222 and the 260 from miniature tanks company available at miniaturetanks.com. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.